Good afternoon. A toxicology report reveals the pilot in the deadliest hot air balloon crash in New Mexico history had drugs in his system. In June, the balloon hit a power line and went down, killing everyone on board. News 13's Jackie Kent is live at Central and Unser where it happened with details. Yeah, the memorial is still here where the hot air balloon crashed nearly three months ago, killing the four passengers and the pilot, Nicholas Molesky. A hot air balloon pilot who requested Molesky's toxicology report says this tragedy didn't have to happen. Essentially, this means that this was just uh, an, an entirely unnecessary um, tragedy. It was a devastating crash that shook Albuquerque and the tight-knit hot air ballooning community. I freaked out. First of all, I thought, am I really seeing this? Is this really happening? The balloon apparently hit the line, skirted to the west along the top of the power lines, and the gondola crashed into the intersection here at Uncertain Central. Leaving people with more questions than answers. There was nothing that that I heard from anybody, that, you know, an observation of, okay, this, you know, weather issue came about or this mechanical issue came about. A toxicology report is now revealing the pilot Nicholas Molesky had THC and cocaine in his system at the time his balloon hit a power line, killing him and his four passengers. Two couples well known in the Albuquerque Public Schools community. I was saddened. Uh, I was angered. Longtime hot air balloon pilot David Tanzer has been flying for more than 40 years, including a balloon fiesta. The ballooning safety advocate has spoken at seminars, written many safety columns on the topic, and says there were conversations within the ballooning community after this tragedy, prompting him to request the toxicology report. I was also aware of uh, rumors to the effect that he was uh, uh, under the influence of drugs. He says while awareness is key to help ensure a similar tragedy doesn't happen again, more needs to be done. I'm making a concerted effort um, to implement something appropriate to stop this. In an emailed statement, Molesky's family says they received a copy of the toxicology report and are reviewing it. They are also asking for privacy. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Jackie. The NTSB has not yet released its official findings determining the cause of the crash.